You've walked past them a thousand times, stepped over them without a second glance. They looked dull, unpolished, ordinary, but inside those forgotten stones lies a secret, a value so hidden it could change your life if you knew what to look for. Because some of the world's rarest gemstones aren't buried deep underground, they're lying right under your feet. Today, we uncover the top gemstones you've unknowingly walked over in forests, along riverbanks, yard. And the most valuable one? You'll never guess what it looks like. Intex knowledges of gem. Why most gemstones go unnoticed. The average person passes by dozens of gemstone-bearing rocks every year without realizing it. That's because nature doesn't always give away her secrets with sparkle. Before the glow comes the grime. Gemstones often hide inside host rocks that look dull, cracked, or downright ugly. You won't find them shouting for attention like jewelry store diamonds. Instead, you'll find them hiding in basalt, shale, pegmatite, or river gravel, wearing the perfect disguise. But what separates a worthless rock from a gemstone-bearing treasure is simple, knowing what to look for. Let's begin. You've probably seen quartz a hundred times, but did you know many of its most valuable forms go completely unnoticed? Amethyst, that faint purple sheen on a stone by a hiking trail, could be amethyst. Found in volcanic regions, amethyst forms inside geodes and cracks in basalt rock. It starts dull, but reveals a vibrant purple when broken open. Citrine, often mistaken for stained quartz or yellow glass, natural citrine is rare. If you've walked through areas with iron-rich soil and quartz veins, especially in heat-altered regions, you might have crossed paths with real citrine. Smoky quartz. Dark, smoky quartz blends into forest floors and mountain trails. Many hikers toss it aside, thinking it's just a dirty crystal. But under light, its deep, earthy glow reveals its value. Key clue. Look for six-sided, naturally faceted crystals growing in clusters. Even if clouded or dirt-covered, those shapes often point to quartz-based gemstones. Picture this. You're crossing a mountain stream. The gravel sparkles slightly in the sunlight. That deep red glint? It's not glass. It might be garnet. Garnets form in metamorphic rock and often end up in riverbeds due to erosion. They're small, round, and usually a dark red, almost black. But when cleaned and cut, they explode with fiery brilliance. What most people mistake for rust-colored pebbles are actually semi-precious gemstones. In parts of East Africa, India, and even the U.S., garnet-rich streams have gone completely unnoticed by locals for years. Chalcedony, the ghost gem. Milky, waxy, blue-gray, it looks like nothing special. But chalcedony is one of the most underrated gemstones in nature. It comes in many forms. Agate, carnelian, jasper, and onyx, and it's been used in jewelry for centuries. The thing is, raw chalcedony rarely looks pretty. You'll find it as bumpy nodules or as crusty layered slabs embedded in volcanic rocks or dry plains. But slice it open, you'll discover bands of color, delicate translucence, and rare patterns that collectors pay big money for. Key indicator, when a dull looking pebble has a waxy surface, and feels unusually heavy for its size, it could be chalcedony. Opal, rainbows in disguise. Real opal doesn't always shimmer in full color right away. The common opal, or potch, looks chalky and matte. But hidden inside, a fire opal's play of color, flashes of red, green, and blue, just waiting to be revealed. And the host rocks are just as deceptive. Black basalt, Rhyolite or ironstone are common opal carriers. On the surface, they appear like old chunks of volcanic rubble. Inside, a rainbow locked in stone. In Ethiopia, Australia, and parts of the American West, opal can be found in roadside cliffs, stream cuts, and canyon walls, completely ignored by passersby. If you spot a stone with a waxy texture and faint shimmer when wet, look closer. You might have opal in your hand. Tourmaline is magnetic in both its beauty and its literal properties. It can become electrically charged when heated. But before it's faceted into neon-colored gems, it hides inside pegmatite. 
Pegmatite is a coarse granite, and it often looks like a random mix of pink feldspar, white quartz, and black specks. In places like Brazil, Madagascar, and even California, tourmaline crystals grow as dark rods or needle clusters, often black, pink, or green. You might have stepped over thousands of dollars in unmined gems. Some stones look hand-painted by nature, layered bands, polka dots, swirls of red, yellow, and green. These are jasper and agate, both part of the chalcedony family, but their raw form is easy to overlook. They often appear like cracked, dull mudstone. The secret is slicing them. That's when their incredible patterns come alive, making them highly valuable for lapidary artists and collectors. If you're in areas with volcanic activity, especially where water once flowed, scan for rounded, dense stones with faint patterning on their surface. Crack one and you might find a natural painting inside. Hiddenite, the pale green treasure you won't see coming. Discovered in North Carolina and named after the mineralogist Hidden, this gemstone lives up to its name. Hiddenite is a green variety of spodamine, closely related to kunzite. In raw form, it's pale, pastel green, and forms as flat, prismatic crystals, usually in pegmatites. It blends perfectly into leaf litter, mossy forest floors, and shaded riverbanks. Unless you know what you're looking for, it disappears into the scenery. But gem-grade hiddenite is rare, and collectors will pay thousands for a clean specimen. So yes, you may have already walked over it. Rhodonite, the pink power and black host. Rock. Imagine a chunk of black rock veined with hot pink. That's rhodonite, and manganese silicate often mistaken for junk until cut and polished. Found in metamorphic zones, especially near old mining areas, it forms in cracks and seams alongside iron deposits. Because its pink color is masked by dark host rock, it's easily dismissed. But lapidary artists seek it for its striking contrast, pink on black, and turn it into cabochons, beads, and carvings. Rhodonite is common in parts of Australia, Russia, the US, yet 99% of people wouldn't recognize it underfoot. Hemimorphite, the sky in a stone, blistering blue, cloudy white. It looks like a chunk of the sky trapped in rock, but most people think it's just colored clay. Hemimorphite forms botryoidal, bubbly surfaces and grows in zinc-rich zones. In many cases, it's soft and crumbly, which makes people assume it's just mineral-stained dirt. But pure hemimorphite? Highly collectible, especially when it forms in flower-like patterns or translucent blue waves. Places with old zinc mines or limestone cliffs are often littered with hemimorphite nodules. And unless you've picked one up, cracked it open, and felt its surprising weight, you've probably stepped over it more than once. The final one, Grandidiorite, one of Earth's rarest stones. It's not vibrant, it's not flashy. In fact, it looks like a faded green stone with a gray cast. But Grandidiorite is one of the rarest gemstones ever discovered. First found in Madagascar, it ranks among the top 10 rarest minerals by collector value. Its color is a mix of blue, green, and gray, often confused with common feldspar or mica-coated rock. And yes, it's been walked over, even discarded, because when it's in raw form, you'd never guess its worth. Today, Grandidiorite sells for thousands per carat, and most of it was discovered in places where no one thought to look closely. It's the perfect symbol of this entire journey. Nature hides its riches, not in the obvious, but in the overlooked. So next time you're walking a trail, skipping stones near a stream, or kicking rocks in your backyard, pause, look closer. That dusty, dull stone might not be what it seems. This is EGS Pro, where the earth speaks in crystals and you know how to listen.